Good morning, herd members. A bit of a change to start today. Um, later on this evening, I am going to be bringing you the top 10 predators of the wetlands. But this morning, I think I'm going to start off by bringing you the top 10 predators of the forest. Now, last night, we went on a night walk with two RSPB representatives. There was a group of us. We saw wild boar, we saw deer, uh, there were different bird songs they were telling us about, but the most impressive thing from last night was hearing um, the night jars call, which we are going to be bringing to you soon. We're going to go out on our own, the Seven Vlogs team, and we're going to try and either get a, a night jar on film or get the sound of it and at least we can bring that to you. But starting off today, we are looking at predators of the forest, and at number 10, we have a cute little, cute little thing called the badger. So in the heart of the British countryside, among the ancient woodlands, lives a charismatic and elusive creature. The badger? Uh, as twilight descends, the badger emerges from its underground home, known as a set. In search of its nightly adventures with its distinctive black and white striped face, stout body and short legs, the badger is a true icon of the British countryside. Badgers are omnivores, meaning they have a diverse diet. They have a keen sense of smell, which helps them locate their favourite foods, which include earthworms, insects, small mammals, fruits and roots. They use their strong claws and powerful jaws to dig into the ground and unearth their tasty treats. They are also highly social animals and live in close-knit family groups called clans. And within these clans, they communicate through a variety of vocalisations, scent markings and physical interactions. They have a complex social structure and a strong bond with their family members. Despite their somewhat stocky appearance, badgers are surprisingly agile and can run, climb and swim with ease. They are also skilled excavators, creating intricate underground tunnel systems. Sets are not only a place for shelter and protection, but also serve as a focal point for social interactions and raising their young, which are known as cubs. And Usually the cubs are born in early spring and spend the first few months nestled safe, safely in the set. But badgers are the, are, have a nocturnal nature. They have an air of mystery about them, as they spend their nights exploring, foraging and engaging in playful behaviours. Their keen senses and, adap and adaptability make them well suited to thrive in the woodland habitats. So there you have it guys, there is a quick brief of the badger. Let's move on then to number nine. At number nine is a, a creature that some people love and some people will think they're a bit of a nuisance. It's the fox. They're opportunistic hunters and scavengers capable of thriving in diverse habitats from woodlands to urban landscapes. Their diet is incredibly varied, allowing them to capitalize on a wide range of food sources. Foxes are primarily carnivorous, preying on small mammals such as mice, voles and rabbits. They utilise their keen sense of smell and hearing to pinpoint the location of their prey and their ability, agility and speed to give chase. Um, foxes are not limited to hunting now, they, all, they are also skilled scavengers, taking advantage of human leftovers. Uh, they will also... Um, especially farmers, they kill a whole lot of chickens. Uh, I'm pretty sure they'll take a duck as well, if need be. Um, birds, especially uh, ground nesting species, also find themselves on the menu for a hungry fox. From small songbirds to waterfowl, the fox's ability to stalk and pounce makes them a formidable predator in the avian world. Um, surprisingly, they're not solely carnivorous. They will also incorporate fruits, berries and vegetables into their diet, particularly during seasons when these food sources are abundant. Um, their flexibility allows them to adapt to changing conditions. Although, additionally, foxes are known to consume aquatic prey, including fish and amphibians. Their ability to swim and hunt near water bodies adds another dimension to their diverse diet. 
The diet of a fox is a testament to its resourcefulness and ad adaptability, adaptability, from small mammals to birds, from scavenged meals to fruits and veg. The fox's menu reflects its ability to survive in a wide range of environments. So, moving on then to number eight. Okay, so now we have the stoat, or as it's commonly known as the short-tailed weasel. They are an agile and cunning predator with a diverse diet. Their primary food source consists of small mammals such as mice, voles and rabbits. With their slender bodies and quick movement, stoats are skilled hunters, able to chase down their prey with remarkable speed and agility. They possess a keen sense of smell and hearing, which aid them in locating the next target. They are opportunistic feeders and will also consume birds, eggs and insects. They'll also take um, a little baby chick as well. This flexibility in their diet allows them to adapt to various environments and ensure their survival. Their hunting techniques and natural instincts make them fascinating creatures that play a significant role in balancing the ecosystems. As well as being a skilled hunter, their, actually, their ability to thrive in diverse habitats actually showcases their resourcefulness as quite the predator here in the forest. Next then, at number 7, here we have the Pine Martin, also known as European Pine Martins, are agile and elusive carnivals native to the forests of Europe. They have a varied diet that includes small mammals, birds, insects and fruits. As opportunistic hunters, pine martins are capable of adapting their feeding habits to the available food sources which are in the habitat. Their primary prey consists of small rodents such as voles and mice, which they catch using their sharp teeth and agile movements. They are also skilled climbers and can hunt birds and eggs in treetops. In addition to meat, pine martins supplement their diet with fruits, berries and insects. Their versatile palates allows them to survive and thrive in different environments. As forest dwelling animals, pine martins play an important role in controlling the rodent population thereby contributing, contributing to the overall balance of the ecosystem. With their slender bodies, bushy tails and sharp senses, pine martins are fascinating creatures that are well adapted to their forest homes. Um, and they're also part of the weasel family, so including the likes of the stoat, which was on previous predator on our list is also part of this family. So, moving on to number six, we have is the mink. So, the mink are small but semi-aquatic carnivals. So, they have a diverse diet that reflects their ad adaptability, nature, and opportunistic hunting style. They're skilled predators and have a reputation for being, being uh, ferocious eaters. Their diet primarily consists of small mammals, fish, birds and amphibians. One of the main food sources for minks is small mammals such as voles, mice, rats and rabbits. Um, they are agile and quick, allowing them to catch these prey with relative ease. They're also excellent swimmers and are known to dive underwater to catch fish. So fish make up a significant portion of their diet and they are skilled hunters in both fresh and salt water environments. In addition to mammals and fish, minks also target birds and their eggs. They are capable of climbing trees and raiding nests to feed on young birds and eggs. This behaviour can have a significant impact on local bird populations. They are opportunistic feeders and will consume any available food source. They're known to eat crustaceans, insects, and even carrion when necessary. Their adaptability allows them to survive in various habitats from freshwater marshes to coastal areas. 
However, it's important to note that minks, particularly the American mink, are considered evasive species in some regions. They have um, they have effects on native wildlife, especially ground nesting birds and small mammals. Efforts are being made to control their populations in certain areas to protect their native ecosystems. So, we're getting into the top five now, guys. And at number five is our first bird. So here we go then with the first of our birds. It is the Kestrel, which is a small but mighty bird of prey. And he has a specialised diet that reflects its hunting prowess and aerial agility. These beautiful falcons can be found in various habitats, including open fields, grasslands and woodlands. The primary food source for kestrels is small mammals. They have a keen eyesight and can spot their prey from great heights while hovering in midair. Voles, mice, shrews and occasionally rats make up a significant portion of the kestrels diet. They are known for their exceptional hunting skills using a combination of precise flight and swift dives to catch their prey. In addition to mammals, kestrels also feed on other small creatures. They have a taste for birds, particularly small songbirds and passerines. They can swoop down and snatch them mid-flight or hunt them from perches, insects, reptiles and even large insects like grasshoppers are also part of their diet, especially during the breeding season when they may need to supplement their food intake. Unlike other raptors on this list, kestrels are not exclusive hunters of live prey. They are opportunistic and will scavenge if necessary. Kestrels exhibit a behaviour known as stooping during their hunts. They hover at a great height and then rapidly descend with incredible speed towards their target, striking with precision and accuracy. This hunting technique allows them to catch their prey by surprise, increasing their chances of a successful capture. It's important to note that the diet of kestrels can, can vary depending on their habitat and seasonal av availability of the prey they, they prey on. They are adaptable hunters though and will adjust their food choices based on what is most abundant and accessible in their environment. Right then guys, um, the top four now, they are all birds of prey. Starting with number four. Okay, next up is the goshawk, which is a powerful and agile bird of prey. It has a diverse diet that reflects its hunting capabilities. These majestic raptors are known for their speed, agility and stealth making them formidable hunters in various habitats. The primary food source for goshawks is small to medium sized birds. They are exceptionally skilled at ambushing their prey, using their incredible speed and manoeuvrability to catch birds in flight. Pigeons, doves, grouse and other birds of similar size are often on the menu for goshawks. They will launch surprise attacks, swooping down from perches or diving through dense cover to catch their prey. While birds make up a significant portion of their diet, goshawks are not exclusively avian hunters. They are opportunistic and will also target small mammals such as squirrels, rabbits and even hares. Their sharp talons and strong grip allow them to catch with precision. In addition to birds and mammals, goshawks are known to consume reptiles and amphibians. They have been observed hunting snakes, lizards, frogs and even small turtles when the opportunity arises. This diverse diet showcases the adaptability of goshawks and their ability to exploit various food sources in their environment. The hunting behaviour is characterised by surprise attacks and quick pursuits. They are skilled at manoeuvring through dense vegetation and can navigate tight spaces with precision. Their broad wings and long tails provide excellent control and manoeuvrability, allowing them to navigate through forests and woodlands, where they are often found. It's worth noting that the diet of goshawks can vary depending on factors such as habitat, prey availability and seasonal fluctuations. 
They are adaptable hunters, capable of adjusting their food choices based on what is most abundant and accessible in their surroundings. Okay then guys, moving on then to number three. Next one is the Tawny Owl. Um, The thorny owl, known for its distinctive hooting calls and nocturnal habits, has a diverse diet that reflects its adaptability as a predator. These owls are skilled hunters that primarily feed on small mammals, but their diet also includes birds, insects and even some amphibians. One of their main food sources is small mammals, particularly rodents. Field mice, voles, shrews and even small rats are common prey for owls. They are highly effective hunters, relying on their exceptional hearing and silent flight to surprise and capture their targets. With their sharp talons and powerful beaks, tawny owls are capable of subduing and consuming their prey. In addition to mammals, tawny owls also feed on birds. They often hunt smaller species such as sparrows, finches and thrushes, but have been known to take larger birds like woodcock or pigeons when the opportunity arises. Their silent flight and exceptionally low light vision make them efficient nocturnal predators, enabling them to catch birds unaware. Pony owls also supplement their diet with insects, particularly during the breeding season. Moths, beetles and other flying insects are often caught in mid-air as the owls swoop down from their perch. This insect con consumption provides an important source of nutrition, especially when other prey is scarce or during the rearing of their young. Interestingly, tawny owls have been observed consuming amphibians such as frogs and toads. While not a major part of their diet, these creatures can be taken opportunistically, especially if they are abundant in the owl's habitat. This versatility in prey selection showcases the adaptability of tawny owls as hunters. It's important to note the diet of tawny owls can vary depending on factors such as habitat, season and prey availability. They are opportunistic hunters capable of adjusting their food choices based on what is most abundant and accessible. This flexibility allows them to survive in a wide range of environments from woodland and forests to urban areas. Okay, coming in then at number two. So just missing out on top spot today is the very fast Peregrine Falcon. It's known for its incredible speed and aerial prowess and has a diet that befits its status as one of the world's fastest birds. These magnificent raptors are highly specialised hunters, primarily preying on other birds. Falcons are renowned for their high speed hunting technique called stooping. They soar high above their prey and then dive down at astonishing speeds which reach up to 240 miles per hour which in kilometres is 386. Their main target is birds in flight and they often go after medium sized birds such as pigeons, doves and waterfowl. And later on guys you may see the peregrine falcon return on the waterland, on the wetlands predators list. When hunting, the peregrine falcon uses its sharp and curved talons to strike the prey in mid-air, often delivering a powerful blow that kills the target instantly. This hunting strategy requires exceptional precision and agility, and falcons have evolved to be supreme aerial hunters. While birds uh, constitute the primary portion of their diet, peregrine falcons may also consume small mammals such as bats and rodents. On occasion, however, it's important to note that birds make up the majority of their food intake. They are well adapted to hunting in various habitats, including coastal areas, cliffs and urban environments. Their remarkable speed allows them to chase down their prey in the open space and navigate through complex terrain. During the season, breeding season, peregrine falcons may also engage in courtship displays and actually share food with their mates. The male brings food offerings to the female and this exchange strengthens their bond and ensures successful reproduction. It's worth mentioning that the diet can vary depending on the availability of prey in their habitat. 
but they are opportunistic hunters and will adjust their prey selection based on the abundance of suitable targets. Right then guys, the number one then on this list is my favourite bird at the moment. And it is, of course I'm talking about my favourite bird, the buzzard. Buzzards are one of the most successful predators in, in the forest. They're a majestic bird of prey that are found in various parts of the world. They're known for their distinctive soaring flight and keen hunting skills. These raptors have a diverse diet that allows them to adapt to different habitats and food sources. They are opportunistic hunters and scavengers capable of capturing live prey as well as feeding on carrion. Their diet primarily consists of small mammals such as mice, voles, rabbits and squirrels. They have sharp talons and have a hooked beak that enable them to catch and kill the prey efficiently. In addition to small mammals, buzzards also feed on birds, reptiles, amphibians and insects. They have been observed hunting and capturing birds such as pigeons, doves and small game. They use their excellent eyesight to spot potential prey from high perches, all while soaring in the sky. When food is scarce or during winter months, buzzards rely on carrion for sustenance. They play an important role as scavengers, cleaning up the environment by consuming dead animals. This scavenging behaviour helps prevent the spread of disease and maintains the balance of the ecosystem. Buzzards are adaptable hunters and their diet can vary depending on the availability of prey in their habitat. They are often found in open countryside, woodlands, but mainly forested areas. During the breeding season, they may also engage in courtship displays, aerial acrobatics and share food with their mates, which strengthens the pair's bond and ensures successful reproduction. They are essential contributors to the, to the ecosystem, playing a role in controlling rodent populations and maintaining the natural balance of prey species. Their ability to adapt to the change in, uh, the, to adapt to the change in circumstances makes them walk the most successful predator in their respective habitats. And there you have it guys, there is your top 10 predators of the forest. If I've missed anything out, uh, please let me know. If you don't agree with something I've put on the list, let me know. I was tempted to put Peregrine Falcon number one, but my favourite bird is the buzzard, so I will admit there is a bit of favouritism there. But um, yeah, I can't wait to bring you more top 10s, including the top 10 predators of the wetlands coming your way very very soon if not today it'll definitely be within the next few days okay guys i'm ben james don't forget to like and subscribe and unleash your inner explorer by joining the herd here at seven vlogs until the next time bye for now